my YouTube family and friends. How are we today and how have we been? Yes, your girl, Queen Riri. And I am here to say hey. Now, how y'all doing, huh? How is y'all doing? Y'all feeling good out there? I sure hope so. I just came through today because I just had to say hi to y'all, you know. I just had to come see y'all. So I thought I would just come through and clean my beans tonight and let them soak overnight and then tomorrow I'll cook them, okay? All right. So let's get it popping. Pop, pop, pop with our new additions in the family. Okay, we have Yahari J. Hello, how you doing? We have Grace Poo. Hello, how are you? We have Selena Perryman. Hello, how are you? And we have Celeria Perryman. Hello, how are you? And we have J Love Always. Hello, how are you? So that's a coincidence that we have Celeria and we have Selena Perryman. That's a coincidence. I wonder if they're sisters. Okay, just let me know in the comments if so. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, so today I'll be cleaning some pinto beans. Yes, I'll be cleaning these beans and showing y'all how to quickly clean them real fast. Um, and then you let them soak overnight to get that good juicy, fresh, nice taste, okay? So we're just gonna open the beans here, somewhat like that. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna take my ham bone and I'm gonna cut the ham off it and I'm gonna throw it in the pot and then these beans are gonna be nice and fluffy because they are gonna be ready, y'all, they are gonna be ready. And I'm going to throw them in the pot and cook them. Okay. So beans that are like beat up, birds done pecked up, uh, look half rotten. Uh, you'll know when you see them to be kind of dark brown or something wrinkled up. Uh, all kind of different ways like that. And then the ones you want to get rid of. Plus also in beans, sometimes you have like little rocks and dirt and little stuff like that that you know you have to pick out the beans. And, um, I done knew a few people in my life just to open a pack of beans and throw them in a pot. And I was like, and the reason I was like that because I wasn't taught like that. I was taught to pick them, you know, first, and then wash them, and then put them in the pot. So, I just want to share that with y'all today. I just had to come through and say, hey. <laughs> yeah, I just had to come through, y'all. I know I'm a busy woman, and I know I did a lot today and I really wasn't feeling it, but I was like, shoot, let me get on through here and say hi. All right, y'all. See, if y'all can see those beans, yeah, stuff like that you pick out because you don't want that in your beans, okay? So you get rid of stuff like that. I should have did a thumbnail, but missed that, so I don't know. It's all right, though, I guess. So then you have a bowl like this, and you're gonna pickle. And you usually like put it under a countertop or a table, and you can just basically put them in there slowly and look at them as you go. And make sure that you don't see any rotten ones, no, no rocks or anything. And if you do, you just go them to the side, you know, because you don't want them to go in your bowl. Yep. And pretty much we'll see. Looking at and then you know you do you just 
just toss it to the side. Pretty much when they looking kind of good, you just kind of throw them in the bowl. Yeah. It's really not hard. So you can just toss it to the side. And I'm used to picking two bags, y'all, or a two pound bag, because that's the one pound bag that I just opened. But it's just like nobody here now. My kids are all grown. So I need to pick picking all these big giant meals. I need to learn to, you know, make it less. Shut it down. Make it smaller, not larger. Yeah, because I have such a bad habit of this, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Okay. So. Now we have them. You can kind of sit through them if you like. Make sure you don't see any. Messed up, beat up, rotten looking beans. Pecked up. <laughs> However you want to say it. Okay, so when you're done, they should look something like that. Yeah, all right. So now, we need to check. Get my baking soda, y'all. This is what I clean my beans with. Baking soda. Can y'all see that? Baking soda. Yep, yeah, this is what I clean my beans with. So, you don't want a lot. You just want a little, like a teaspoon, maybe, if that much. So, we're just going to pour it like See, that's like a teaspoon. I didn't fill the spoon up all the way. Y'all can see that. And then I'm just going to put it in here with the water. Put this back up now. Yep. Oh, y'all, but I've been craving for some beans. I'm going to have me some beans, okay? Oh, okay. All right, let me get some water. I'll be right back. So then you get your water. You know, you really don't need that much. And then you're just going to go in here and you're just going to kind of move them around and you're washing them right now, okay? Yeah, you're washing them. But what that baking soda does, it cleans them. You know, kind of like a, a sterile clean, you know, like it, um, it softens them. And it gives them actually a flavor. You'll taste the difference, trust me, when you cook them, you'll taste the difference. I don't know why, but this is how my daddy cooked his beans and he made the best beans. So you just kind of wash them. Make sure you rub them all around. And plus, when you use the baking soda, it eliminates a lot of that gas. So when you eat beans, you know how we all get gas. You don't get as much gas. So it's a lot more pleasant, a lot more better. So that's four things. That baking soda helps beans with. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. That's all. It's, it cleans them. It makes them soft. It gives them a flavor. And it eliminates some of that gas. Okay? So now y'all know. Alright. So pretty much we washed them. You can see the water. It's kind of dirty, don't it? See that? Yeah, so then we're going to rinse them. I'll be right back. We're going to pour that water off. And we're going to put 
new clean water. I'm gonna just kind of rub them around. And then we're gonna pour that off one more time. Then we're gonna put some more water. Now right now, you can just, um, you can rub them around or either you can just stop at that and let them soak. You don't have to let them soak overnight. You can let them soak for like 20, 30 minutes if you want, something like that, just to kind of swell them up some. But apparently, I guess, the hulls of the beans has captured some of the bacon soda. So, that's how it retains the, the taste and make it soft, eliminate the gas, and all that. Okay, so now I have clean water. It's clean. And I'm just gonna put these in the fridge and let them soak. Now in the morning, when I get ready to cook them. There'll probably be no water in here. They'll be swole up to wherever the water's at, probably a little past it, but they'll be ready to go in the pot. And then that'll eliminate half the time they have to cook also, okay? So I'm just gonna throw these in the fridge. And if you see a bean in there you don't like, you can always throw it out. You know, I'm very picky of my food. If you guys didn't know, I am. Okay, give me a minute. Alrighty, y'all. So that looks like a wrap. So basically, that's what you do. And you want to clean up your beans, pick them and clean them up, get them ready to be cooked. Yummy. Alright, y'all. So tomorrow. I'll be back with part two when I'm just gonna cut that ham up, throw it in the pot with my seasonings and stuff, add those beans, let them cook. I'll probably make some fry bread to go with them. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. I just love my fry bread with my pinto beans, okay? So, anyway, I appreciate you guys coming to join me. I thank you guys. I appreciate all my dishes out there that are showing me so much support. Thank you. Um, I hope everybody's having a nice and pleasant, good year. I know so far um, in mine, it's been okay. I, um, I'm not gonna say I can't complain. I just don't wanna talk about it, okay? So I'm just gonna stick to the positive side, okay? Keep it like that. I'm gonna try my hardest to keep it like that, okay? So, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, I thank you guys, and if you're new to my channel, consider joining, okay? If you can, come back, uh, push that button and subscribe, oh my, I would love to have you, just join Queen Riri Squad, the more to marry, okay? Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. And hit that notification bell so you can get upcoming videos of Tap In with Queen Riri. Okay? Alright, you guys. Prayers up and blessings down. You guys have a blessed day. Okay? And I'll see you soon. Remember, six distance, wash your hands and strap it up. Okay? Stay safe. Alright. I love you guys. Peace out. Later.